What's up guys and welcome to my latest video. Today I'm heading way down south to Wakayama Prefecture to go and collect my new to me KTM 990 Super Duke. All right, but first let's just sit down and enjoy the view from the window. Well guys, I've just got myself stuck at a train station in the middle of nowhere. I missed somehow, even though the Japanese trains are always on time, I somehow managed, managed to miss my train by one minute. So I've got to wait here for about another hour until the next train comes. And it looks like there's nothing to do here. Very small little station. But I just found a little shop, so I'm gonna go and see if I can get myself a snack. じゃあ、ちょっと レンコン、レンコン。はい、レンコン、レンコン。はい。で、あとは、さつまいも。さつまいも。さつまいも。はい。じゃあ、さつまいもお願い。いこう。うん。はい。あ、それだけいいですよ。ありがとうございます。はい
Um, but yeah, I think I'll, I've got like a four, four hour journey ahead of me now. Not taking the highways home, just taking the low roads. So yeah, I guess I'll be able to figure it out, figure out what it's like. But uh, yeah, it's gonna need a bit of cleaning, rusty bolts everywhere. And the frame is pretty dirty as well. Like up in, up in here, it's all filthy. So need to give it a good old clean. So that'll be the, the first job for my next day off, stripping it all down and giving it all a nice old clean. But anyway, I think, uh, yeah, let's go and take it for a test ride. Alright guys, I've just put about 100 kilometers on the bike now. I just stopped for a quick break. I don't know what I've come across here. Hopefully I can zoom in on the video and show you this, but for Japanese standards, this is a ginormous building. I don't know what the hell it is. I don't, I don't actually know where I am, but this thing is huge. So anyway, back to the bike. I think I've been riding for about two hours now. It's been a pretty slow journey, but yeah, I feel comfortable on the bike already. It feels real nice. Um, the handling feels so quick and responsive. Like um, it's pretty wind. It's been pretty windy on the highway, but the, when the wind blows you, you can, it just it feels so nimble. It's kind of scary the way it moves around in the wind. But yeah, in general, the bike just feels really nice. Love the handling. Love the brakes. Done a few cheeky wheelies on it so far. It's yeah, it's good. I think. So anyway, continue on the journey, see if we can find something interesting to video. All right guys, I finally made it back. Long ass day. It's 9 p.m. now. I left the house at 9 a.m. So yeah, I'm exhausted. I got caught in a massive rain shower. So my gloves are wet, my pants are wet, my socks are wet. And then basically I'm just sort of feeling miserable now. <laughs> Obviously this bike is a badass bike. Now why they call the latest one the Beast 3.0. So this has got to be Beast 1.0. But it is a beast. It's totally not um, not scary though. The power delivery is, is kind of unusual. Like you think it's finished. Like there's so much torque from low down. That you think that's it. And then all of a sudden about, I don't know, maybe... I've been not really been looking at the, t t the taco, but I reckon about five or six, it then just suddenly comes alive again. Like I was expecting it to wheelie a couple of times in the second gear and it, it didn't. And then all of a sudden at about six, it just lifts the wheel. So yeah, the engine is so nice. And you, it's really tractable too. I mean, you can just pull around town now and no problem. And then as soon as you need to like overtake, you just, just go and it just goes. So yeah, I'm, I'm in love with the bike, I think. Just gonna give it a bit of a, a clean and a tidy up. And um, yeah, I think she'll be a good fun summer bike for hitting up the mountain roads. So as I said, I'm tired, I'm exhausted and freezing cold. So I'll save my review video for a later date. Um, but yeah, basically in general, I love the bike and I hope that you guys will come to love it too. So if you haven't already done, please subscribe to my channel and smash the f out of that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.